All right. Alrighty do. In the movie Aliens, Sigourney Weaver's character is rescued after 57 years of drift in space, having escaped an alien in the previous movie. When she comes to, she warns the Wayland yutani Corporation about the dangers of the alien, but she is dismissed as crazy and having questionable judgment. There was no evidence that supported her side of the story. This was the exact same position Georg Ohm found himself in in the 1820s when he discovered what we now call Ohm's Law. He was dismissed as delusional and unfit to teach science, and his work was called a web of naked fancies. <sighs> Cheesy willikers. Well, those people look pretty silly now, just like the Whalen yutani Corporation in the movie Aliens. Because Ohm's Law is one of the most fundamental but simple laws in electromagnetism and specifically in circuits. Essentially, it says that the voltage dissipated across a resistor is equal to that resistance multiplied by the current through it, or V equals IR. It's easy to come up with alternate formulations using algebra. I is equal to V over R, or R is equal to V over I. The short thing to say is that the voltage dissipated across a resistor is proportional to the current through that resistor. For example, Given 10 volts dissipated across a 50 ohm resistor, we can use Ohm's law, I equals V over R, to find that the current in the resistor is 1 fifth or 0 0.2 amps. Alternatively, given a resistor of 18 ohms with 500 milliamps passing through it, we can use V equals IR to determine that the voltage across that resistor is 9 volts. Finally, suppose we know a load draws 2 amps of current and dissipates 120 volts, we can use R equals V over I to determine that that load must be 60 ohms. The simple idea that the voltage across a resistor is proportional to the current through it seems so simple and trivial now, but in the 1820s, Georg Ohm was belittled and his work was dismissed as sorcery. Be glad you don't have to experience that when you're telling everybody about circuits, which I'm sure you do all the time. Because, you know, that's what normal people do. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I plan on making more. If you feel that I've earned it, I would really appreciate your subscription. But for now, this is Dr. McFerrin. Thanks for tuning in.